it is important that you do not insert the infusion set prior to receiving in-person training. Remove the infusion set from the package. Now connect the infusion set to the newly filled reservoir. Make sure both the top of the reservoir and the connector are dry before connecting them. Liquid can temporarily block the vents on the tubing connector. This may result in the delivery of too little or too much insulin, which can cause hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. If any liquid has gotten in the top of the reservoir or inside the connector, start over again with a new reservoir and infusion set. To connect the infusion set to the reservoir, hold the tubing by the connector and place it on top of the reservoir. Find the right position by turning and gently pushing the connector until you feel it slide smoothly in place. Turn the tubing connector clockwise until the reservoir and the connector lock with a click. You should not have the infusion set inserted into the body when doing this step. Tap the reservoir to make any air bubbles rise to the top of the reservoir. Purge the air bubbles that have risen to the top by slowly pushing up on the plunger until all of the air bubbles have been pushed out and you see insulin in the tubing. If you are not able to push insulin into the tubing, disconnect the reservoir connector and then reconnect it. Unscrew the plunger rod counterclockwise until it completely separates from the reservoir. Be careful not to pull down on the plunger as you unscrew the plunger rod and avoid squeezing the O-rings as you do so. Insert the reservoir into your pump. After inserting the reservoir, turn the reservoir connector clockwise to secure it. The reservoir connector should line up with the groove in the battery cap of your pump. To begin filling the tubing, press ACT. The Rewind Complete screen appears with instructions to place and lock the reservoir into your pump. Since you have already placed and locked the reservoir into your pump, you can now press ACT. The Fill Tubing screen appears, asking if you are disconnected. Make sure the infusion set is not connected to your body. Press the down arrow to choose Yes, and then press ACT. Hold the infusion set so that the needle is pointing down. Press and hold ACT to move the piston forward. You will hear a series of beeps as the piston moves forward. Continue to hold ACT until you see insulin drops coming out at the end of the tubing. Press ESCAPE when you see drops coming from the end of the needle. Do you see drops at end of tubing? Displays. Hold the tubing up to the light to check for air in the tubing. If there is no air in the tubing, select Yes and then press ACT. The Fill Cannula screen displays.